Thank you so much for having me here today. My name is Veronica and I'm a chaplain. So I want to invite you to do something that we all really appreciate. I want to talk about intimacy for just a minute. So I invite you to be intimate with me. Because what I'm asking you to do, we're going to talk about building on your relationships. I'm going to give you a moment to into me to see. So I want to share with you a little bit about who I am and how it is that I came to do what I do. Because a chaplain is something that a lot of people have in their mind, what it may be. It could be military, it could be hospice, it could be hospital. Well, I want to tell you that building in relationships to me has been a key for all of my life. Because I don't know if anybody here has ever heard things like, you're never going to amount to anything. What makes you think that you can do this? People like us don't do that. These are some of the things that I heard, heard as I was being raised, but this was not winning relationships. When I, by the time I became an adolescent, I was asked so many times, what is it that you want to be when you grow up? I realized, I know what I don't want to be. Discouraging, sucking the life out of people. I wanted to be an encourager. So as it came to be, and as a young adult, I was in Bible college, and I actually had the opportunity to do a lot of short mission trips. I go abroad, I've, I've spoken in seven countries on three different continents, and had the privilege to meet people of all different cultures. And the culture that I want to invite you into today is that winning relationship culture. Because that transition from what I was, or could have stayed, there was a shift that happened to who I am today. And it's all about winning relationships. So I'm going to share with you one magical moment, and it is truly a miraculous moment of chaplaincy, because if, if you don't know anything about chaplaincy, chaplaincy is the ministry from the womb to the tomb. You marry them, you bury them, and you do anything in between. So one day I had the privilege of meeting a young woman that was pregnant, and she asked me in Spanish, that was her only language, and she was living here away from family. Would you be with me when it's time for me to have my baby? Wow. I was a stranger, and yet she invited me into her world, and of course I said yes, because I wanted to be the helping hands, and I wanted to be the encouraging heart, so that she wouldn't be alone at a time that was very important to her, and having two of my own, I knew she did not want to be alone when she had that child, so I got the call one day, and it was in the middle of the night, and we spent all night in labor, and when I say we spent all night in labor, <laughs> Building winning relationships is about going the extra mile. You see, chaplaincy is being a welcome presence. It's like a human life EAP, Employee Assistance Program. But there she was in labor, never been coached. She'd never had any instruction on how to breathe or how to, you know, ride out the, the contractions. And she begins to go, I, I, and I was like, oh dear, she's got a cramp. And I know where that cramp is. And she, she asked for help. This is the extra mile. No one talks about what I do the extra mile. And I said to her, okay, I'm going in. <laughs> and we began to work on the cramp. Well, speeding things up, and after a little Pitocin, it was time for her to push. And the nurse told me to tell her, don't let her push. Now, if you ever had a child, you cannot go against nature and say, don't push, because it's a hurricane force that's coming, and you can't just say, stop. And this woman was determined. Now, the father was present, but so was the chaplain. And she said, I'm not having this baby without you. And I thought, wow, okay. The nurse just said, don't let me push. And she just left the room. The nurse left me with a pregnant woman with child en route. And she looked at me, and she goes, what did she say? She, she told me to tell you not to push and that I can't go in there with you. I'm not having this baby without you. I got to deliver a baby. Wow. Wow. Now, if that's not a winning relationship, I just want to ask you something. Are you open enough to serve somebody to go the extra mile? Because let me tell you something. When I delivered my children, it wasn't that natural way. I got to experience something beyond anything I could ask or imagine. And that's what having a winning relationship is. We don't know what it's going to have as a reward, but what we do know is it's going to be immeasurable to the quality of life 
than we have with others. So this moment of intimacy that I asked you to be a part of, I hope you've seen into me. Thank you. Mm -hmm.